This is a cluster, 10 billion years, about twice the sun. Some of them are, are colored red and have enormous dimensions. They're called, for this reason, red giants. When the, our own sun is about the same age, it will have exhausted much of its available nuclear fuel in its interior, and it also will become a red giant. Its outer layers will expand, it will become distorted, extended, it will engulf first Mercury, then Venus, and eventually our own planet, the Earth. Our oceans will boil, our atmosphere will dissipate to space, and it's interesting to ponder whether our remote descendants, if any, will be equal to the supreme challenges of such times. The Void Stares Back, an exploration of cosmic pessimism. cosmic pessimism. This provocative worldview posits that the universe is fundamentally indifferent to human existence and that our search for meaning is ultimately futile in the face of cosmic insignificance. As we embark on this intellectual journey, we will grapple with the origins of cosmic pessimism, its evolution, and how it challenges traditional notions of meaning and purpose we'll explore the philosophical and psychological implications of embracing this worldview. Consider whether it can coexist with or inform other philosophical and ethical frameworks, and ponder how we might approach the human experience in a seemingly indifferent universe. The roots of cosmic pessimism can be traced back to ancient philosophical traditions, but its modern incarnation emerged in the 19th and 20th centuries, as scientific discoveries began to reveal the true scale and nature of the universe. In ancient Greece, philosophers like Hegesias of Cyrene advocated for a form of pessimism, arguing that lasting happiness was impossible and that the best one could hope for was the absence of pain. This early pessimistic thought laid the groundwork for later developments the 19th century saw a significant shift in philosophical pessimism with Arthur Schopenhauer's work The World as Will and Representation. Schopenhauer argued that the fundamental reality of the universe was a blind, aimless force he called will, and that human existence was characterized by suffering and unfulfilled desire. As scientific understanding advanced, particularly in astronomy and physics, the vastness and apparent indifference of the cosmos became increasingly apparent. The Copernican revolution had already displaced Earth from the center of the universe, but the true scale of cosmic time and space was only beginning to be understood. In the 20th century, existentialist philosophers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus grappled with the implications of a seemingly meaningless universe. Camus, in particular, explored the concept of the absurd, the conflict between human desire for meaning and the universe's silence, in works like The Myth of Sisyphus. The cultural backdrop of this philosophical development was marked by rapid technological advancement, two world wars, and the looming threat of nuclear annihilation. These factors contributed to a growing sense of human insignificance and vulnerability in the face of cosmic forces. At the core of cosmic pessimism is the notion of cosmic indifference, the idea that the universe is utterly indifferent to human existence. The vast expanses of space and time dwarf human concerns, 
rendering our struggles and achievements meaningless on a cosmic scale. Closely related to this is the concept of existential insignificance, which posits that humanity's place in the universe is no more special or important than any other phenomenon. We are merely a fleeting arrangement of atoms in an indifferent cosmos. The concept of the absurd, borrowed from existentialist philosophy, plays a crucial role in cosmic pessimism. It refers to the fundamental disconnect between human desires for meaning and purpose and the universe's inability or unwillingness to provide them. This philosophical stance also often incorporates ideas from thermodynamics, particularly the concept of entropy and cosmic decay. The heat death of the universe serves as a powerful metaphor for the ultimate futility of all human endeavours. Cosmic pessimism rejects anthropocentric views of the universe, arguing against the idea that humanity holds a special or central place in cosmic order. It emphasizes the inherent limitations of human knowledge and understanding, suggesting that our inability to comprehend the full nature of the cosmos further underscores our insignificance. Arguments in favour of cosmic pessimism often draw on scientific observations and philosophical reasoning. The vast scale of the universe, both in space and time, dwarfs human existence, and the eventual heat death of the universe suggests a cosmic futility. Proponents argue that there is no empirical evidence for inherent cosmic meaning or purpose, and that such concepts are human constructs. From a psychological perspective, cosmic pessimism can be seen as a brutally honest confrontation with reality, free from comforting illusions. Some argue that recognizing our cosmic insignificance can lead to greater humility and care for our immediate world and relationships. However, cosmic pessimism is not without its critics. Some argue that meaning is subjectively created and doesn't require cosmic significance to be valid. There are concerns that cosmic pessimism could lead to destructive nihilism or despair. Paradoxically, some critics argue that cosmic pessimism itself is anthropocentric in its focus on human meaning in a vast universe. Others point out that our inability to perceive cosmic meaning doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't exist. The strengths of cosmic pessimism lie in its alignment with scientific observations and its potential to foster a clear-eyed view of reality. It challenges comforting but potentially misleading worldviews and encourages deep philosophical reflection. However, its weaknesses include its potential to induce existential despair and its possible overreach in concluding that the absence of evident cosmic meaning equates to the absence of all meaning. Despite its seemingly bleak outlook, cosmic pessimism has significant contemporary relevance and applications. In the realm of environmental ethics, recognizing our cosmic insignificance can paradoxically lead to greater care for our planet. If Earth is all we have, it becomes even more precious. Cosmic pessimism also informs discussions about existential risks to humanity, encouraging long term thinking about species survival. On a personal level, grappling with cosmic pessimism can lead to a re-evaluation of personal values and priorities. Many artists and writers have drawn inspiration from this philosophical stance, using it to explore themes of meaning, insignificance, and the human condition. In the scientific realm, the vast indifference of the cosmos has spurred inquiry as humans seek to understand their place in the universe. Cosmic pessimism can also inform ethical discussions, potentially leading to philosophies that value immediate human and earthly concerns over abstract cosmic significance. Real-world examples of cosmic pessimism's influence can be seen in various domains. In literature, authors like H.P. Lovecraft have explored themes of cosmic indifference and human insignificance. Environmentalist movements sometimes draw on ideas of cosmic pessimism to argue for the preservation of Earth as our only home in an indifferent universe. Some scientists and philosophers, 
like physicist Lawrence Krauss, have incorporated elements of cosmic pessimism into their popular writings on cosmology and meaning. As we conclude our exploration of cosmic pessimism, we're left with several unresolved issues and areas for further exploration. Can cosmic pessimism be reconciled with human needs for meaning and purpose? Is it possible to acknowledge cosmic indifference while still finding subjective meaning in human experience? The ethical implications of this worldview also warrant further examination. How might a widespread adoption of cosmic pessimism affect societal values and ethical frameworks? Could it lead to greater environmental stewardship? Or might it result in destructive nihilism? The psychological impact of embracing cosmic pessimism is another area ripe for investigation. What are the long-term psychological effects of this perspective and how might individuals and societies cope with it? As our understanding of the universe continues to evolve, we must also consider how new discoveries in physics, cosmology, or even the potential discovery of extraterrestrial life might affect the tenets of cosmic pessimism. Cultural variations in the acceptance or rejection of cosmic pessimism's core ideas present another fascinating avenue for exploration. How is this philosophical stance viewed and interpreted across different cultures and belief systems? In grappling with these questions, we continue the age-old human quest to understand our place in the cosmos. While cosmic pessimism may not provide comforting answers, it offers a stark and thought-provoking perspective that challenges us to examine our deepest assumptions about existence, meaning, and purpose. As we face the void, we are reminded of our fragility and insignificance. Yet in this very act of contemplation, we demonstrate the remarkable ability of consciousness to ponder its own place in the universe. Perhaps, in the end, it is this capacity for reflection and meaning-making, however local and fleeting, that defines the human experience in the face of cosmic indifference. The void may stare back at us, impassive and eternal, but in our questioning and our striving to understand, we affirm our existence, however brief it may be, in the grand cosmic scale. Please remember to like and subscribe for more thought engineering from Polytechnica. Thank you.